Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know, we've been touching on socially responsible investing and green investing and green marketing and, you know, all, all these socially responsible avenues, right? You know, what they are and examples and stuff, but we haven't really talked about why it matters. Why does social responsibility matter to a business, right? Like, why would, why is that something that, you know, if you're starting a business or you already own a business, like, why, why should you care about this topic or this subject, right? Well, let's start off with this. You know, companies are becoming increasingly focused on, and I mean, I mean, they're really ramping up their focus, right, on social responsibility, right? Whether it's, you know, really championing, you know, women's rights, or, you know, maybe they're looking for protecting the environment, or maybe they're trying to get rid of poverty, you know, whether it's on a, a local level, a national level, or even on a global level, right? From an optics perspective, socially responsible companies project more attractive images, right? And that's to both consumers and and shareholders, right? Of course, which just serves to positively affect their bottom line, which, you know, as a business, that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to raise that bottom line, right? Okay. Well, one of the first things that we should talk about is customers because customers matter, right? Embracing socially responsible policies, it goes a long way towards attracting and retaining customers, Right? And that's that's really what what you're trying to do is you know sure you want that to get that customer in there the first time but you want to keep that customer coming back right that's that's essential to your long term success as a company. Furthermore, many individuals you know they're gladly going to pay a premium for goods, knowing that part of the profits will be channeled towards a social issue or a social cause that they really care about, right? Now, companies can likewise witness increased foot traffic if they enhance the local community. Uh, an, an example of this would be for some banks, right? Let's say you have a bank that is, you know, in your community and they start, um, they start approving loans to low-income households, right? So by doing this, right, the bank is most likely going to see an uptick in business as a direct result, right? So, you know, it might, you know, if you have a local bank and you want to see improvements in your neighborhoods and stuff like that, you know, that's something to look at. Another thing, you know, some other some other things we could talk about is socially responsible companies tend to attract employees who are eager to make a difference in the world. Right. You know, in addition to, of, of course, you know, they want to get paid. Right. They're not going to work for free now. If we look at large companies, right, because there's strength in numbers where collective employee efforts can achieve just massive results, right, which, of course, is going to increase workplace morale and it's going to boost productivity, right? Now, community-oriented companies often enjoy a, a leg up on their competition as well, right, thanks to their, you know, amazing brand imaging. Um, a company that comes to mind for this it's going to be Tesla, right? Think of Elon Musk, right? He successfully attracted environmentally minded consumers, right? With his electric car and some of his other products, right? A lot of business came his way for the electric car, right? And the electric car scene has exploded because of this, right? I mean, he has, he has done quite a lot. Let's look at some other examples, though, because Elon Musk with Tesla is not the only one, right? There's other ones. Now, the first one I want to talk about is going to be Coca-Cola. You know, you, you, in 2010, right? Of course, right now it's 2022. So, you know, we're going back 12 years ago. Coca-Cola started uh, what they call the 5 by 20 initiative, right? And they started to empower women all around the world. Now, they put a statement out, and, and in a statement, uh, I'm going to read off something that they said, right? So they said, through 5x20 programs around the world, we equipped women 
entrepreneurs to overcome social and economic barriers by providing business skill training, access to financial services and assets, and connection with peers and mentors. The women participating in 5 by 20 work in roles across our value chain. This is going to include retailers, suppliers, producers, artisans, and many more. Now, of course, Tesla and Coke aren't the only companies doing something like this, right? Let's look at another example. Let's look at Visa. So through its financial inclusion program, Visa has developed innovative ways of bringing digital cash to places in the world where the financial infrastructure, it doesn't exist. Or even for people who don't have access to the financial system. You know, you got to think there are people who live in developing uh, countries where it's just there, there isn't any way for them to be a part of the financial system, right? Today, right, about half the adult world lives in the informal economy. They deal exclusively in cash. Now, to be one of these estimated uh, about 2 billion people is to face financial barriers that make life risky, make it expensive, and inefficient. Now, financial inclusion helps put people on a path out of poverty, right? It's also going to create productive, empowered citizens. And it fosters business opportunities as well as it's going to fuel economic growth, right? So, what's some of the, the takeaways, the bottom line thinking here? Like, what's going on, right? Okay, well... Socially responsible companies cultivate positive brand recognition. They increase customer loyalty and attract top-tier employees. Now, these elements are among the keys to achieving increased profitability and long-term financial success. Being a socially responsible company, it can bolster a company's image and build its brand. Social responsibility empowers employees to leverage the corporate resources at their disposal to do good. And then, of course, formal corporate social responsibility programs can boost company, um, you know, the employees of the company can boost their morale and it can lead to greater productivity in the workforce, right? So there's a lot of good things that come with being you know, a socially responsible business or having programs in your business for social responsibility, right? I hope you guys got some good information out of this. You know, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. But until I see you guys in the next video, y'all be safe.